one more example here for geometry. This is a nonlinear pattern. The way you know that is you check your first difference. And it increases by 13. And then it increases again, but not by 13 anymore. So it increases by 25. Because 15 plus 25 is 40. And then it increases again by 37. So you know it's not linear. So now take the second difference. And that's an increase of 12. That's also an increase of 12. So the second difference is constant, so it's quadratic. Which means we're going to look for a rule that has two parts. Each part's linear. I'm going to organize my work. these numbers anymore, so I'm just going to cross them out. So when I look at the numbers 2, 15, 40, and 77, I'm actually going to start with 77, because there's not a lot of options. So 7 times 11. So there's lots of options for 40, but Maybe 4 times 10 I might use, or 5 times 8. So I'm just going to look at a few of them. And then for 15, 3 times 5. And I'm trying to look for a pattern. And for 2, just 1 times 2, or 2 times 1. So I'm just looking at some options. But if you look here, I go from 1 to 3. So I could go from 5, so 1, 3, 5, 7, that's a nice pattern. And likewise, two, five, that increases by 3, 8, and 11 makes a good pattern. So I'm not going to use 4 times 10. And I am going to use, whoops, the 5 times 8. difference here is an increase of 2. From 3 to 5 is 2. From 5 to 7 is 2. So the part of my rule is going to be 2 times n. Now I'm going to take an n value. Remember this is the n value. Like I can start with 3 and say 2 times 3 is 6. But I need the 5. So I have to subtract 1. I'm going to check that with 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8. But I need the 7. So by subtracting 1, I get my rule. Now I'm going to go from the green box to the green box. So from 2 to 5, 5 to 8, 8 to 11, I'm increasing 3. So I put a 3 here. Now I'm done with these. So 3 times my n value of 3 is 9, but I need an 8. So 3n minus 1. I can check it over here. 3 times, not there, right here. Okay. 
let's check it here. Three times two is six, but I need the five. So if I subtract the one, I get it. So now I'm going to check one other way. I'm going to check by plugging in four. Two times four minus one times three times four minus one. That's eight minus one, which is seven. And that's 12 minus one, which is 11. Seven times 11 is 77. So that's what I was trying to get. So that's my answer. And then to figure out the 20th term, you would just plug in 20 to this. So 2 times 20 minus 1 times 60 minus 1. So 39 times 59. That's your answer. That's how you do the problem.